He is alive forevermore. Jesus Christ is alive forevermore. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the voice of the Lord is like the sound of many waters, the God of glory thundereth. The Bible says the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness, even the wilderness of Kadesh. Mm. Praise God, the voice of the Lord is speaking unto you right now. The Bible says he divides the flames of fire. Has he divided the very spirit and soul and marrow and bones of your own heart? And he's, he's speaking to you right now. Wow. Try, trying to get you saved. God loves you. Yes. I can't say it more emphatically. Amen. Amen. He's done, he's done everything he possibly can do to save your soul. To the point he would have, he would have his own son slaughtered. Wow. Wow. And tortured. And yet still you walk by like it means nothing. I don't need Jesus. I just need more money. A vaccine. Or I need a boyfriend. Or I need a girlfriend. I need a night in bed with someone mm. that's going to make my life better. No, it's not. You're going to make your bed in hell. The Bible says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. How many people tonight are going to work evil upon their beds? They're going to find some sin to participate in. They're going to find a prostitute. They're going to find a harlot. They're going to find somebody to spend the night with, someone to feel comfortable around, some way to fill the void of, of love in their souls, someone to sleep with, someone to have sex with, some way to have some momentary, temporary pleasure before eternity begins, before the lights come on and, and eternity is there and you're surrounded by eternity. And you're surrounded by those that are, that are cursing God and blaspheming the name of God in the chambers of hell. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, that he said that that harlot sits there and calls out to the simple ones wow. to come. And the Bible says those men are led like ox to the slaughter, a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till a, a dart strikes through their liver. He said, They know not that the dead are there and that our guests are in the depths of hell. That prostitute's going to take you to hell. That harlot will take you to hell. That extramarital relationship is going to take you to hell. You know, there's a lot of people that are cheating on their spouses even right now. Wow. That's wicked. There's a lot of people that are cheating on their spouse right now. They think that nobody sees it. They think that God doesn't God doesn't know about it. Their friends don't know about it. They think that nobody will ever find out if they cheat on their spouse. But you see, nothing is hidden from the eyes of the Lord. Nope. God sees it. God saw that hotel room where you and that woman went when your wife thought that you were on a business trip and that you were just there with, the, with your friends or, or fellow co-workers, you, she didn't know that you were in bed with another woman. Wow. Wow. But you see, God who sees through the walls and through the buildings and through the windows, he saw you in the bed with that woman that you're not married to. He saw you in the midst of that extramarital relationship what? that is Brother sending you to hell. Like a lot of women have been broken from this. He saw you I've in the midst cheated. of that adultery. You know what I mean? It breaks that me. adultery. It's sad that that happened. Which is sex with somebody you're not married to mm. while you are inside of a covenant relationship. It's called adultery. Oh, oh. Fornication. And it is one of the Ten Commandments of God. In fact, it's so it's one of one of the sins so much that God detests that He even put that one sin 
as one of the Ten Commandments. Now, now folks, if there's, if there's a sin that's in the Ten Commandments, that means God is emphasizing His hatred for that sin. He is emphasizing His hatred for adultery. He hates adultery. He hates adultery. It's wicked in the eyes of God. Israel committed adultery against God. When you commit adultery against God, you invite another woman or another man into your marriage. You are typifying what Israel did to God. Mm. Mm. When they brought in idolatry, they brought in idols, they began to worship the calves. The oh. Bible says that Jeroboam even took two calves and he put one in Bethel and the other in Dan. Mm. And the Bible says that the children of Israel went a whoring after it. Oh. Oh. They went a whoring after those idols. That's when you, when you, when you follow sin. The sin of adultery. When you follow the sin of adultery, you are going a whoring after that individual. Yeah. Yep. You are going a whoring after that person, after that man, after that woman. Maybe you're an airline stewardess and you travel all over the world and you sleep with all the men that you want. And you think God will never find out. God knows. You're not hiding from God. You're not hiding from God! Nope. The Bible says that in, in Revelation 6, the Bible says there's going to be the sixth seal is open. The Bible says the re, that the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every freeman shall hide themselves in the dunes and the rocks of the earth. And they're going to call to the rocks, Fall on it! Amen. Hide us from the thing! Wow. Wow. Of him that sits on the throne. Wow. And from the wrath of the Lamb. Oh, man. For the great day of his wrath has come. Who shall be able to stand? The great day of his wrath is coming. You think your ears hurt, hurt now? Wait till you get to hell. You think your ears hurt now? Wait till the billion screams of hell amplifying in your ears for all of eternity oh the torment billions and not millions billions billions not millions there's not going to be millions in hell there's going to be billions in hell oh oh brother there's a hell you know right now that there there are 90 percent now i, I saw a, sta a staggering statistic 93% of, of missionaries, 93% of missionaries go to places where there are already established churches and the gospel has already been preached for a thousand years. They already go to places where the gospel has already been preached, where people have already heard the word.